Is David O. Russell's newest film going to lead up to his previous work? And no, I'm not talking about accidental love. No. Alright guys, so, Joy. In Joy, we follow the story of Joe Mangano being played by Jennifer Lawrence, who comes up with a miracle mop in the 1990s. Basically, not only do we get to see the process of this mob basically just going out to the public and the tribulations that come with it, but we also get to see what's going on in her family life in this time period. Going into Joy, I can say that I had pretty high expectations. I like David also both of his previous works. There was Silver Linings Playbook, which I really enjoyed, and then there was American Hustle, which I enjoyed a bit less, but nonetheless, it, both of them are still great movies, so needless to say, I was excited for this one. Finally, I got the chance to see it, and how was it? Well, let's find out. Now, of course, the main thing that we all see this movie for is the director and cast collaboration, and that is very good here. The character of Joy is attached to an underdog story, and you're rooting for a character the entire time to, like, make this mob happen, make it big. So I thought I really enjoyed Jennifer Lawrence's performance here. Not her best work, obviously, because Silver Lines Playbook, but I, I know I'm comparing this to Silver Lines Playbook. I'm sorry about that. But still she did a very good job here. Bradley Cooper's character, he was also really good in my opinion. I feel like when his character got introduced, that's when the movie really picked up and I was getting very invested and interested into the story much more. Robert De Niro's character, however, he lacked he lacked a lot of depth to his character. I feel like he was just there just to be like, hey, remember how he was in Silver Linings? Reference it again. Remember how he was in Silver Linings? Yeah, he's in this one. Who would have thunk? Yeah. But he's, he's pretty underutilized in the movie. I mean, for the scenes that he is there, he does do a fine job, as well as the rest of the supporting cast. But I feel like he could have been utilized much more. Better. Well, Russell's direction as well is pretty weird in the movie. The first act starts out very, very slow when we're introduced to Joy's family life and the, Magan the Manganos themselves, and then when it actually shifts into her making this mop, then it gets very interesting, and I was much more invested than I was previously. And then, like, at the very end, it kind of, like, slows, slows a little bit down, and it was just, it wasn't really directed and edited properly in my opinion i mean the second act definitely fantastic i love the second act of this movie i loved it it did a great job and the third act is definitely better than the first but i don't know i feel like it was a, a little bit of sloppy direction on o russell's part but that's just me the writing in here is also is nothing phenomenal but it's not enjoyable watching joy interact with not only her family but the business executives as well was always at the least a bit a bit interesting so it never gets to a point where i was watching these scenes and i was just like what is this like i i didn't i didn't see this movie to see this no it, it, i was always at the least bit a little bit engaged in whatever dialogue was going on on screen the film also has a really ambitious ending i saw this movie like i don't even know five days ago and i, I still I don't know if I like that ending or not. There are some flaws in this movie, as I stated before. It feels it, it feels very slow and drawn out at some parts. And like I said, O. Russell's not at his best game here. He's not awful, but he's not at the caliber that I would expect him to be at at this point. But that's just me being a nitpick douchebag. So yeah. Overall, I'm gonna give Joy a B minus. Thank you guys so much for watching, until my next review, I'm RandomMr411, and we'll see you all later.